Time to connect my Nux front end to my Adonis back end. To do that, we'll go to the very bottom of the index.view file. First thing I'm going to do is import Axios. A handy thing with working with IDEs like IntelliJ is if you're missing the library, you could just have your IDE automatically import it, which is what I did here. All right, next up, let's go to the export defaults and start adding our async operation. We'll use async data. Then let's define a const. Const data equals await axios.get. All right, and then here we'll put in the URL. So currently I have the API running on my local port, HTTP 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 colon 3333 and then forward slash movies. Now let's return this data and then we'll assign the data to movies. What this is going to do is it's going to import the whole list of movies into my view component. And now what we could do is go up here and swap out this placeholder data. The first thing is we'll just repeat this li tag and put in v4 movie and movies. So we're going to do a for loop here. This list item is going to repeat for each movie in the list of movies. So we only need one. Let's get rid of the other two. And let's clean that up a little bit. All right, now let's find the placeholder data and swap it out with the data that we're getting from our API. Okay, first up, I see the movie poster here. We're first gonna add a colon right before source. That way, view knows that this will be dynamic. And we'll add in movie.poster underscore image. And right here, we'll get rid of children of men, put in double curly brackets, and then add in movie.title. For the year, again, we'll add in some curly brackets and then put in movie.release underscore year. For the list of genres, that's gonna be movie.genres. Then we have our list of top build actors. Let's remove that and then add in movie.top underscore build. Now this looks like the movie description. All right, let's go ahead and remove that. And then add in movie.movie movie underscore description. One last thing I noticed, we have the next link and currently it's pointing to children of men. Let's get rid of that. We'll add a colon before the two, add some of our back ticks here. And add dollar sign, curly bracket, movie.id. Before, I wanted to show the movie title in the URL, but just to make this whole app a little more simple, I'm just gonna go with the ID. All right, let's save this out and then run it and see what we got. So I just open up the terminal and let's run yarn dev. It finished building. All right, let's go to localhost 3000. All right, looks like we did an awesome job and now all this data is dynamically being pulled in from the API that we created.